My goal really is to help as many people as possible going through tough times at the moment. We go through so much rubbish in life. I mean, I don't know about you, but I just find life gets harder the older we get. Sorry to disappoint any of our younger uh, viewers. Um, but life gets harder as we get older, I think. We, we, you, get, you get so many things that you have to deal with as, uh, as you get older, more demands on your attention and your time and your emotional resources. Inspired by my own story of a difficult time I had, um, which you can look at previous blogs and videos if you want to know about that. This blog is called The Teapot. And I did mention in one of my previous posts about um, chucking away a load of crap crockery. Now, you've, heard, you've probably heard the phrase tea and sympathy, you've probably heard the phrase, oh, you know, in any times of trouble, have a cup of tea. Well, that's exactly what I do, because I love a really, really good cup of tea. Always have. But I, I made it into some kind of little ritual in the mornings. Um, so what I decided to do, after I bought all my nice new white crockery, um, it was just a Tesco's, uh, James Martin Denby, if you want to go and get it, I think it's really reasonably priced, really good. And I bought uh, some white crockery and some white mugs and just, I got out, I got rid of all my crappy mugs and I put my new special white mugs with lovely little patterns on them and just, just, I, mean, I don't, I can't explain how good that makes me feel. And I'm not in this kind of weird creepy way, I just mean, it just makes me feel nice inside. Anyway. What was letting all this down was my uh, teapot. It was leaking, I didn't like it, made me cross. I was thinking, right, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna buy myself a really, really, really decent teapot. But how do you, how do you find a teapot that doesn't drip? I don't know. Um, and I was looking around, I couldn't really find what I wanted. Um, and I was back home one day and I suddenly thought, hang on, I've got a really good teapot that I never use. Now, as most of you know, me and my husband of um, 20 years and my, who have been together 27 years, split up. That was the tough time I had. Uh, that was a number of months ago now. When we got married, we asked for, as you did in the 1990s, the things you did when you got married, you asked for cutlery sets and you asked for crockery and you asked stuff to help you set up at home. And we asked for this uh, lovely crockery and it's a Wedgwood. Uh, very smart, stuff that you can't really afford to buy yourself unless you're damn wealthy. Um, and I had this teapot and I never ever used it. Can't possibly use this teapot because it cost a fortune. Oh well, I mustn't use it. No, we'll keep it for special occasions for over 20 years. I've probably used this teapot twice. Actually, before we split up, I was thinking, I remembered it was on top of the shelf in the kitchen in a plastic bag covered gathering dust. And I thought, I may as well sell that teapot because it's worth about 70 quid. I mean, 70 pounds for a teapot, that's quite a lot. Um, and we never use it. May as well flog it on eBay or something. I'll probably get quite a good money from it. Anyway, I didn't. Um, but then when I was thinking I want a nice teapot to make me feel good when I pour my tea in the mornings, I thought, I'm blooming well going to get that teapot down and I am going to use it because why shouldn't I? It was given to us... 20 years ago when we got married and we've used it twice. OMG. And why shouldn't I use it? So I climbed on the shelf, got it out of its bag, uh, cleaned it up, gave it a clean and I made myself a cup of tea. Now my little tea ritual as I mentioned before is pretty specific. You have to warm the pot, you put leaves in and I found that uh, I get a Tesco's really posh black leaf tea. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and I make it in my Wedgwood teapot. And here is the teapot. I'm going to show you it because I just love it so much. Look how beautiful is that teapot. Look at that. OMG. And so my tea comes in this teapot. And you know what? The best thing about this teapot, it doesn't drip. <gasps> So now pouring tea is a joy. So in the mornings I have a little ritual, I get, put the milk in a nice little jug, get one of my nice white mugs off the mug rack and I make my tea. And when I pour my cup of tea from this beautiful teapot that I love, I feel really good. It makes me feel good. And I'm glad I'm using this teapot. It was stuck on a shelf doing nothing. It cost me nothing. But what it gives me in terms of comfort feeling 
is something I ca almost can't explain, but it's emotional. It's emotional support from a cup of tea and a pot of tea. So that's why I use my teapot. So again, if you're going through a tough time, make five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, an hour, just to go and rootle around either in your cupboards or the charity shop. Get something nice, you know, if you like coffee, find yourself a really nice coffee mug or treat yourself to some really nice coffee or really nice tea. A packet of this tea, it costs, I don't know, three pounds. Lasts me two to three weeks. It's a pound a week, it's nothing. And yeah, it makes me feel good. So little things like that, be good to yourself. Thank you for watching and listening. Um, as again, if you like this video, we'd love you to like it. Uh, please feel free to drop any comments you want down below. Um, I will respond to as many as I can. And um, thank you for watching Things That Get You Through. I'm Sarah Walker. Have a lovely, lovely week. Be kind to yourself. Bye.